Okay, so this first song is I Can Only Imagine. One of my favorite songs. I keep telling my husband, this someone has to dance this at my funeral. It's so fabulous. So I thought I'd walk it through first, just saying the lyrics, um, and then we can just dance it. This one is probably more dance incorporated with a little sign. The next song, there's much more sign. Just bear in mind as well, you don't have to be with the lyrics. If you're, don't be frazzled and fast and just trying to get every sign in with every movement. No, just let it flow with the movement. It's very helpful to be smooth and flowing. And if the lyric has been sung and there's just a beat of four counts to finish a bar or something, that's when you can sign the sign. A deaf man once said to me, well, actually he burst into tears when he saw me signing and um, swaying. That's all I was doing in the pew. I was interpreting the service for him. So I was signing the songs, but because I'm a dancer, I didn't even know I was swaying and going with the music. He fell down on his seat, started crying. I thought I'd done something terrible. I said, I'm so sorry, what did I do? Please forgive me. He said, you just made me hear music for the first time in my life. I'm 48 years old. So the gift of a dancer who naturally moves and then includes the deaf community's language is fabulous. Their syntax is different to uh, most languages, as often many languages have different syntaxes. Um, I learned German, you put the verb at the end of a sentence. So, um, your name what? instead of what's your name. The other song starts, my Jesus, my saviour. So, Jesus, my saviour, my. Nothing compares with you. So, just be free. Deaf people are so amazing. It doesn't matter about the syntax. It doesn't matter if the words are in the right order or with the lyrics. Just worship using your gift of dance and any sign language that you might have and you can never have too little. Okay. One last thing. Make sure you're wearing plain, dark clothing. Lots of patterns on a blouse or t-shirt distracts the deaf person. I wish I could have a blank wall, but most of our walls have pictures and, and um, signs on them and notice boards. So I thought, maybe I'll give you the mirrors so that you can see the back view at times as well. I think I'll start over here. Usually in signing, you use your right hand when you're communicating with the deaf. I try and keep my hand as the main signing instrument. Occasionally, I might want to change it, but I'm really trying to keep it on the right. I can only imagine, I'm just walking. The sign for imagine is a little circling index finger. I can only imagine what it would be like when I walk, I'm still walking, by your sign, indicate Jesus. I can only imagine on a lunge what my eyes will see when your face is before me. It's so bright and amazing. Surrounded by your glory, what will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus, or in awe of you be still? Will I stand in your presence? To my knees will I fall. Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak at all? No words. And then I prostrate. I can only imagine. I can only be imagine. Okay. Let's try it with the first verse. I might continue on to the end of the piece and you can just watch. And then we can discuss it afterwards. But let me just show you a little bit of sign. 
Please.